back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the sfml mario series and in this video we are going to fix a small problem with our game so currently if i start the game what you should see is that uh, we do get a 800 by 600 window as i have written here and uh, the uh, actual in-game size of the window is also similar but if uh, i for example resize the window uh, or let's say i maximize the window you can see that the in-game size stays same and now everything appears a bit stretched and if i like reduce the size uh, for example i make it like this you can see that now it appears like it's squished or something and uh, there are some really uh, weird artifacts here and the reason is of course that uh, currently our actual in-game size is not adjusting to the real aspect ratio of the screen so we want it to you know be like that and uh, in order to do that let's uh, get started with our view so if you remember we use this view class to determine the size of uh, where we are you know our camera where we are looking it from but uh, now we can also change the size according to you know what we need to do so here we are going to uh, actually remove this line here you know you might be wondering why but uh, let's uh, actually not do that let's create a separate function here so that it's a bit easier to focus so i'm going to create a void here called uh, update uh, view size view size like that and uh, this is actually going to take a view but of course by reference so that we can actually make changes to it we can do that by adding this amp uh, adding this ampersand sign and i'm going to do it like that we are of course going to only create the uh okay if you need to say sf column, column we are going to create the function prototype here and then i am going to go ahead and uh, you can go under quick actions and create definition uh, down there yeah, visual studio will automatically do that for you so anyways now we are here what we can do is uh, uh, we can use this view to set its uh, size to whatever we like so before we do that what i am going to do is that uh, we are first going to decide like what we want uh, our win you know we can make like one of the you know x or y axis uh, fixed and then make the other adjust to it based on the size that we want so in order to do that what we are going to do is this we are going to create a float called ratio this is going to represent our aspect ratio and for this we are going to set it to uh, and uh, actually you can see that we have got uh, uh, everything working but let's actually make this window a global variable so that we can access it from anywhere in the main program it might be makes uh, you know make more sense to like add window variable here but uh, anyways let's go ahead and create a float uh, we are casting to a float because window size is actually an unsigned integer so we are going to say uh, float to cast it and we are going to say uh, window dot get size uh, dot x so we are going to say you know get size dot x you can actually put either x or y first uh, but you, know, you can go you will have to like modify the rest of the code accordingly but uh, i'm going to say uh, x first and now what we are going to do is we are going to divide this and we are going to take a new we can again cast to float even though we don't need to cast twice because uh, if one of the variables is uh, float the other will automatically be casted to float but uh, let's just leave that and let's go and saying get size uh, and uh, get size dot y and what this does is it essentially provides us is with a aspect ratio of the screen that is the current aspect ratio so uh, for example with uh, a size of 800 by 600 we will have uh, 800 divided by 600 which is uh, approximately you can do the math and that would be uh, around 1.25 and that would be our mm, aspect ratio and we are going to essentially uh, you know adjust the windows uh, current size so uh, we will take one of the sizes and then we are going to adjust the in-game size uh, of the window so that it matches the aspect ratio and nothing looks uh, stretched or squished so to begin with we are going to add a const expression here which is basically a modern way of like hashtag defines to define like a constant value and we are going to define it as the window size and uh, uh, its value is going to be 800 which is actually the x value here we are going to make it like that and we, i have actually changed the ratio because y uh, by x is uh, what uh, works better for me so i'm going to make it uh, the window dot get size dot y divided by window dot size x so after doing that what we are going to do is we are going to say view dot set size and for the x we are going to directly pass the size while for the y we are going to say size multiplied by ratio and uh, uh, that should actually be quite 
uh, good but first uh, let's go ahead and uh, check this out whether it works or not by doing uh, in order to do that what I'm going to do is go here and uh, actually before we clear the color uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, before setting the view we are going to say uh, update view size and pass it the view and uh, now if I run uh, this thing here what you should see is that uh, nothing actually changes because uh, yeah by default yeah you can see everything looks uh, nice and like it uh, is supposed to but if I make the screen full screen you can see everything still looks nice the reason it does so is because now we have got a uh, adaptive system and if I like reduce the size of the screen like this uh, and uh, this happens you can see that some, uh, it does not quite work that well and uh, things do get kind of uh, you know uh, bad but uh, well for the most part you can see that it was working when we maximize but it won't work in a specific scenario which is when I like make this like this you can see that uh, um, first of all Mario goes down and kind of runs out of the screen which is not something that we want and uh, this is not like working in the best way so uh, why what why is this problem occurring and how are we gonna fix it but if you replace that code with this new version in which we check the ratio if uh, we first of all check if the ratio is less than one if it is less than one that that means that we can just do everything normally like we were doing uh, before so if the ratio is less than one that means that the y is smaller than the x and that is what uh, usually it will be and we are just going to set the size uh, x size to be just size and uh, we are going to change the y here but if that is not the case which means that the y is actually larger then what we are going to do is we are going to check if our view we are going to actually set the view size to uh, one by ratio the reason we do that is because of course we want to flip this x by y which is essentially uh, if we divide this by one we will get x by y and uh, we multiply x instead of y and y remains normal now what you should see is that even if I make my window really small uh, okay there is one problem here which is about Mario falling like uh, from here but uh, apart from that if I like for example uh, do this what you can see is that uh, uh, yeah you can see that works and uh, Mario we can still play the game and nothing looks like squished or stretched and even though our uh, viewport is now smaller so that is the effect that we are aiming from uh, for now there is only one problem left right now which is that if I um, sometimes when I move uh, Mario passes through the you know whatever is below Mario and that is of course not something that we want why is that happening mm, uh, we'll try to fix that now so one reason for that might be because uh, of like frame rate issues so in order to fix that because we you know we don't have uh, continuous collision checking we only have discrete collision checking to fix that we can easily do it by uh, actually you know making uh, sure we only update the view size when uh, we are the event re uh, resized is called so in our event function we are going to check if we are resizing the window only then we are going to update the size else we are not going to do that and of course uh, we are we want and you can actually limit this size if you want to using the window dot set size function because sometimes this still happens and uh, a good way to fix that might be to implement this uh, you know continuous collision checking but anyways uh, I have uh, you know changed one thing here which is that uh, uh, I have added like an FPS here so we display FPS in the title of the window which is a frame per second and remember that the delta time is the amount of time spent in one frame which is like seconds per frame so we can just divide uh, one you know uh, basically invert it to get the frame per second and you can see that currently our game is running at like almost 2000 frames per second. Uh, which is of course uh, kind of uh, expected because the Mario game is this is really a simple game nothing complicated about it and uh, yeah that's pretty awesome and uh, this is pretty much it for this video I will see you in the next one in which there are a couple of more issues in this game that we would like to fix and uh, some extra features that I would like to uh, give you an insight into uh, on how to add for example stair climbing you can see that currently uh, we have if we have got like a stair we can't actually climb that we need to jump over it which uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense we should be able to like do this normally so we'll implement these features in the next video make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one and also uh, make sure to share this video with other people and i will see you in the next one and bye